It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this debate, the future of building regulations and fire management, which is hosted by Building Magazine in association with the Business Sprinkler Alliance. So this evening, we will consider in advance of Hackett's final recommendations, how the industry needs to change in order to prevent a disaster like Grenfell ever happening again. We now have a social and ethical duty with our colleagues right across the sector to play a positive and proactive role in the aftermath of the Grenfell Tower tragedy. We need to implement real cultural and process changes to improve the building stock of the future. There is no single right answer and if anybody gives you a simple answer to this, it will be wrong. We need a review to start very soon and we need it to be as quick as it can be whilst being thorough and widespread. It needs to look at it root and branch in our view. Guidance is always and always has been behind innovation. Innovation drives guidance or drags it along behind it. We need to recognise that buildings are complex, they are sophisticated and you need competency throughout the whole design, build and operate process. And if we don't maintain that vigilance, unfortunately I'm with Jane, we will see a return of another disaster in which we will all be sitting here and we'll all be looking at each other thinking, what did we do? More importantly, what didn't we do? We do need to act and we need to act now. It's been a good debate here tonight. We've all agreed there are serious issues affecting the built environment. Complexity, complacency and competence being the three principal ones. It's competency in the design, construction and operation of buildings to deliver those buildings effectively and successfully. So that we're not just trying to comply but we're actually making the right choices so that we can secure the resilience of buildings whether that be through sprinklers or passive fire protection in the future. It's fantastic to see so many people who really are enthusiastic about doing something, making a change, and goodness me, we need a change in this industry. We have to start doing that now. But with the enthusiasm, the drive, and the determination that we felt in the room tonight, I'm sure that we will have a better future for fire in the built environment in the UK.